Okay. All right. Let's talk about this because I truly do believe Jeremy Sohan could be one of the best players in the NBA someday. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right. Okay. All right. Jeremy Sohan, the point guard experiment. I came across this article maybe like a week ago or it, it was it was at least uh, about five days ago. Um, wasn't able to really do anything on it, obviously, with me moving and everything. And by the way, let me know. I said in another video, but let me know if this is like a better setup as far as like where the camera is. Just just tell me. Um, but this in particular, I do want to talk about Jeremy Sohan and the point guard experiment. Um, now, before we talk about that really quick, if you guys want to support the channel, clan, the merch fan dot com link in the description. Thanks for the love. All right. So check it out. So here's the thing. Um, I know that it sounds a little hyperbolic to say that he could be one of the best players in the NBA. I guess I'll just say he could be one of the better players in the NBA. Because the thing about Jeremy Sohan is every single aspect of his game, I think is pretty doggone refined other than shooting. Like if he can develop a jump shot, I mean, and I'm not saying, oh, you have to be Steph Curry with the numbers. If you can just get to about 30%, okay, just 30% on like three attempts per game, I, I think that is good because right now as it stands, I know he's taking a bunch of threes, um, but he's like at 16% and that is not, that is not good. That is not going to work. Um, and that comes, that comes down to him just taking too many of them, but also, you know, he's not really fearful and he doesn't care about his numbers that much. It, at least that's the type of player he comes across as. Um, but Popovich has went ahead and taken J Jeremy Sohan and put him in the point guard position. Now this isn't necessarily just because um like just because he wanted to it, it's kind of one of those things where so many people are gone i mean josh primo is gone not coming back uh blake wesley's hurt he's gonna be out for quite a while maybe even another month i don't know um and then you also talk about uh uh your boy trey jones he's not gonna be able to hold uh the 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 uh mantle the, like every single game and he's had some you know not some injury stuff but he's been out uh, a time or two so it, it's 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 pretty tough and when you come to that conclusion i mean all of that i mean all i say all that to say this jeremy sohan has to be the point guard like no one else really can be it'll have to come down to him or like isaiah roby maybe devin Fassell, in which i feel as if and i, I could be wrong but I, i've been watching the games i feel as if pop has kind of stayed away from that a little bit initially he was on it but i mean i completely understand it because devin fasel he started off looking really good with his facilitation skills and now it seems like we kind of got off of that just a little bit um and, and it's because of mistakes that he's he's made as well but he's better off when he can just be like a catch and shoot guy and not have to worry about facil facilitation so much but when it comes to jeremy sohan that literally is his thing he is a facilitator like he is a glue guy um and i absolutely love it but i'm gonna be honest with you guys if he can develop a three-point shot like even in this play right here like when he drives here if he if he could have done like a step back or stopped right there and then and then shot a three i mean he is virtually unstoppable because he's so strong he's he's so relentless um and he can he always makes the right play like right here he if if he felt like that was covered Isaiah Roby would have had an open three, right? Like Jeremy Sohan is really, really good at uh, looking down uh, the court uh, in the open court and trying to find the 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 open guy. Like I don't know. All I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm not trying to like like go you know really into uh, Jeremy Sohan right now. I'm just saying that everything that I've seen from him thus far, I I don't really have a reason to be concerned, and I think that we all should be really happy that the Spurs did take him. Because that that ability, that offensive ability, man, to be able to find the open guy, the high IQ, the good screens, the constant communication, uh, the strength, even the speed, the handles, everything is there. He just needs a jump shot. And if he had that, I, I don't I don't know, man. I mean, now we're th now we're talking like I mean, people say Dennis Rodman right now. I don't I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's shooting wise and with his size. Maybe a Kyle Kuzma type build. Like I don't know, man. So we'll 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 wait and see. Um, obviously, he's going to have to really work on that in the off season. He's not going to become a better three point shooter in the midst of this season. Okay, that's just not going to happen. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm loving what I'm seeing. He's probably the bright. Well, he's not probably. He is the bright spot of this team right now. 
and uh, as the season goes on I think we're gonna see even more and more uh, goodness from Sohan so anyways I'll get with you guys later man if you want to support the channel as always clan the merchfan.com link in the description or become a patron YouTube member only two dollars a month thank you guys so much man until next time bye